Hey guys, this is Repairman here. Gonna give you a little tour of my city. This is episode number one. Here we go. Alright, so got beacons on the major intersections of my city for speed boost. Got an anti mob proof little gate. Redstone powered doors, so all the buttons power the doors to open up. Same on the inside. And now for the main part of the building. Of course some of the buttons aren't working at the moment, but get most of them done. Just a little extra work needed to finish a couple middle floors. Some not as important floors, but yeah. Alright, so here we go. Let's test this off. Let's go by go up to my floor so jump in press button off we go <laughs> some floors you see still need floors and ceilings still need to be finished then you got like diamond floor here where it's all nice and finished covered up everything all nice and good Except for that hole in the floor. <laughs> Don't what happened there, but yeah, anyways. Place that down. Uh, oh yeah, let me give you a little view of the sights here. Nice see-through glass panes. Jump up here on the ledge, watch the first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> nice little view of the bank from up here and world down below. Alright, now let's go check out the second floor. Right now I'll call it the storage floor, but I've got to decide what full nano is there, because that's really the vault floor. Alright, let's head down. Alright, off we go. As you see, we're just falling down. When I first designed this, took no damage. Probably still doesn't. Haven't tested it out, but have to check it out. Because you land on the at an angle onto the rail, so you don't take damage. So reduces the amount of tracks I need. All right. So second floor, got three different vaults. Each one has five different pin codes. So let's go over here. This third one third one has the test code so we just come over here one two three and four bam and there we go access our stuff all right now when we're done just press the release button or return button bam off it goes and inside and when I have this map in survival mode, you will not be able to get back here because behind this is all bedrock right behind the button and stuff. So it's no way to access the stuff. I'm sure, you can break the control panels and other stuff, but you can't actually get at the items or get at the pin code wiring to see what the codes are. No way to get at the items. In creative, of course, you can break any block. But yeah. All right, let's go take a look at some of our stuff. We also got stairs. If you're going down, going up and down one flight of stairs, it's quicker to take the stairs than it is to take the rail system that I have here, the rail system elevator. Yeah. Also got down the basement. Got a TNT lab. Enter at your own risk, of course. <laughs> Gotta make the entrance to down here a little more fancier, but yeah, it's work in progress there. <laughs> Probably should reduce the number of doors I have here because don't need so many doors to protect me, protect the upstairs from the TNT. Probably don't even need the doors to begin with because of the fact that it. TNT doesn't go around corners very well. I've already learned that from testing it out quite a bit. Potion of night vision. 
little test project. This is where we test out all kinds of crazy things. Test out automated TNT cans that <laughs> sometimes blow themselves up, <laughs> as well as TNT shotgun style TNT cans, which <laughs> as you can see also blow itself up. Test wall we had here for testing have yeah, blown a bit nicely. So of course this is a TNT test lab, so <laughs> some of the stuff projects have got blown up a little bit. A little bit of blast damage here and there. <laughs> yeah. Some other cool little test project stuff like the invisible door. <laughs> no door, how can I get through? Uh, press that little button. Oh, I press quickly to get through. Boom. Of course the wood block, wood one's a little slower. Probably should add a little bit more of a delay in there, but that's with no real extra delay. All it is is just a fence gate. When you add power to it, opens up and there's a half of a block of invisible block above the invisible gate or the, above the gate and putting a carpet there conceals the gate itself so you can't actually go and click on the gate because you don't know oh, that's all it is is just opens and closes this is it, of course this here is in the invisible wall can I get through here and some other cool little things like the some old style stuff like door trap <laughs> some other old style dual barrel cannons and other cool gadgets testing all kinds of sometimes you just place TNT and blow it up just for the heck of it of course TNT that's where it's for having fun down here and right next to that we also have minecart to spawn take you right to spawn or bring you from spawn to the main building also come over here we got the bank got the tellers and everything oh look at that oh no <laughs> creepers are serving our money to us <laughs> all right and then we got that button normally powers a lava door, but pistons are broken at the moment, so hopefully next week I'll be able to give you a demo of that. And also got the Mega Vault, which normally you press your code, chests all pop up here, but pistons are broken at the moment, so don't really have a good demo for you, but you can kind of get the premise of how it works. Type in the four digit pin code, minecarts all path pop up here press this button they return of course they're not heading to the right spot where they should be because of uh, the pistons are not guiding them back to the right position because they're not working but yeah yeah if you guys like this uh, you know give you a little demo view of how all this is hooked up and working and everything And also my latest addition to my city. Got the bank, got the skyscraper, and got a factory. Nice little factory here. Again, and anti mob proof doors. Except for spiders, of course. And then the TNT or not TNT, yeah. the factory itself. Factory, of course, doesn't have anything in it yet. It's just the building and the lighting and the walkways and stuff set up for now. And stairs, of course, so I can get up to the second floor. This is basically set up so that once I am ready, I can go and put in all the automated... <laughs> I haven't seen... That. All right, that's funny. Uh, that way I can go and put all the factory stuff in here automated uh, cactus farm automatic egg farm chicken cooked chicken and feathers farm and those will all be 
automatically fed with hoppers and and pistons or uh, dispensers shot back over to the skyscraper and then sorted into item silos and their own little spots so yeah I've put in haven't installed redstone doors yet so those are still a little tricky to get in and out but yeah that's my video and uh, post some before and after shots of uh, the factory here on to Twitter so follow me on Twitter it's uh, Twitter at, uh, at repairman t87 and I'll catch you guys later hope you guys like the video if you like it subscribe press like and uh, if I get enough I'll keep posting more